Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make 10 DIY makeup school supplies. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to see future DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. The first DIY will be a nail file highlighter. For this one, you will need one of these nail files that looks like this. So there's two ways to do this. You can use one of these highlighters like this and keep the nail file the size that it is, or you can use one of these mini highlighters. I will show you how to make the one with the mini highlighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place the highlighter onto the nail file, mark off on where it ends, and then with an X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut on that line all the way around. Place the highlighter on the nail file and mark off where the cap is. Where the marking was just made, cut out around the nail file. Next I'm going to use a screwdriver and I'm going to start just kind of wiggling it around to create a hole in the center of the nail file. And then to make the hole slightly bigger, I took the end of a paintbrush and I uh, wiggled that around in there so the hole would expand just a little bit. Twist the highlighter around until it is completely in there and only the cap is showing. Repeat the same process with the other side of the nail file for the cap to fit in. And that's all there is to this easy DIY highlighter nail file. The second DIY will be a nail polish eraser. For this one, you will need a bottle of nail polish, Start by emptying out any nail polish that's left in the bottle. I poured some nail polish remover in the bottle, shook it around, and emptied it into the cup, and I just did that until the bottle was clean. Then I washed the bottle out with some warm soapy water. I cleaned off the brush with some nail polish remover. With a pair of pliers, remove the brush from the cap. Now I'm going to use some purple acrylic paint. Any color acrylic paint will work. I just squirted some into the bottle and swirled it around. And to let it dry, I just placed it upside down and I let it dry overnight. Here is mine once it was dried. I'm going to use one of these click erasers. You can find it this way or you can also find it in just the refill pack like this. Place the eraser into the nail polish bottle and as you can see when you put the cap on it doesn't fit so just mark off where it needs to be trimmed down to size and then cut it down to size. And you can either place the eraser in the bottle like this or you can also glue it to the cap. Either way will work. I'm going to put my eraser in the nail polish bottle. So what I did was I just hot glued around it and that will hold the eraser in place. And that's all there is to this easy DIY nail polish eraser. DIY will be nail polish glue. For this one you will need an empty and clean nail polish bottle and I cleaned it just the same way as I did the last one. You will also need some glue. I'm going to use this pink glitter glue. Start by squeezing some glue into the nail polish bottle. Once the nail polish bottle is full, clean off any glue that got on the outside 
And that's all there is to this easy DIY nail polish glue. The fourth DIY will be a makeup brush bookmark. For this one, you will need a makeup brush. Since the round handle won't make a good bookmark, I'm going to cut off the top part of the makeup brush. Sand down any rough edges. Next, you will need a popsicle stick. If you have a craft one, great. I didn't have one, so I just used one from a popsicle and washed it really good. I'm going to use some pink nail polish and paint the front and the back and the sides of the popsicle stick. This step is optional, but I wanted to give it a little hollow look, so I'm going to use this hollow nail polish and paint that on the front and back. Once the popsicle stick is dry, place some glue in the makeup brush and glue the popsicle stick to the makeup brush. For this next part, I didn't want to leave marks on the makeup brush, so I wrapped a washcloth around it and then with some pliers, I squeezed it together on both sides. And now you have a makeup brush bookmark. The fifth project will be a nail file pencil. For this one, you will need a nail file like this. So it's really hard to push the pencil through when it's uh, long. So I'm gonna cut this in half and this way you can make two. I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the nail file highlighter and I just wiggled the screwdriver around to make a hole. I'm going to use one of these mini pencils. You'll want to remove the eraser. If you don't have a mini pencil, just cut a regular pencil down to size and start twisting it into the nail file. Once the pencil is all the way in like this, then you can start using your nail file pencil. For the sixth DIY, I will show you how to make lip gloss glue. For this one, you will need a lip gloss container. The first thing I did was I removed the plastic piece from the top. Next thing I did was I stuck a wooden skewer in there to get out any remaining lip gloss. The best way I found to clean out the container was to use equal parts of coconut oil and baking soda and pour that into the container and let it sit for about five minutes and then pour it out. If it's not clean, then repeat it one more time then wash it out with some warm soapy water and the container should be clean. And here is mine after it was all clean. Now I'm just going to fill up the lip gloss container with some glue and you will just want to make sure that the container is dry. Place the plastic piece back into the top of the container and you will also want to remember to wash and clean the lip gloss wand before you put it in your glue. And once you've done all that, then you have your lip gloss glue. DIY will be a place to hold your paper clips in an eyeshadow container. 
for this one, I'm just gonna use one of these single eyeshadow containers. I started by cleaning out the eyeshadow container. I'm going to use some of these mini paper clips. And all I did was I just placed the paper clips inside the eyeshadow container. And that is all there is to store your paper clips in this eyeshadow container. The eighth idea is eyeshadow glue. For this one, you will need an eyeshadow container. I'm using this trio right here. I will be using some glue from one of these glue sticks. And what I did was I just broke off a little piece of it and I pressed it into the eyeshadow container. I used a Q-tip to clean off any excess that was around the sides. I repeated the same process for the next two. And that's all there is to this easy eyeshadow glue palette. DIY will be an eyeliner pencil. I'm going to use this eyeliner right here. It's one that twists up and down. And the first thing I did was I just cleaned it out and I did that with a wooden skewer. I will be using the ink from one of these pens. Place the ink in the eyeliner pencil and trim off any excess. Once the ink is the right length and fits into the pencil, then just glue it in place. There is the eyeliner pen. Final DIY will be a mini eyeshadow notebook. For this one, you will need an eyeshadow. Start by tracing around the eyeshadow container onto a piece of cardstock or poster board, and you will want to do this twice. Next, just cut those out. Using regular paper, trace around the piece of cardstock that was just cut out and do that several times. And then you'll want to cut that out and this is going to make the notebook. When all the pieces are cut out, clip those together with one piece of poster board on the top and one on the bottom. Next, I'm going to paint a generous amount of Elmer's glue on the top, set that aside and let it dry. Here is mine once it was dry. Next, just glue the notebook to the back of the eyeshadow container. And that's all there is to this easy eyeshadow notebook with real eyeshadow. I hope you guys enjoyed all 10 of these DIY makeup school supplies. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, let me know which one was your favorite. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.